Ok people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Welcome back to another Vlogmas 2021 where we're going to drop a video every single day until December 25th. In this video, we're going to talk about a wealthy strategy that the rich and wealthy have been using for hundreds and hundreds of years. That strategy is called buy, borrow, and die. First, let me start with the strategy that modern day middle class America uses and why we're going in the wrong direction and how we need to change it to go in the right direction. You see, in the beginning years of our lives, we're taught to maybe purchase assets, right? Buy stocks, buy real estate. Nowadays, to, we're told to buy crypto and hodl on those cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Ripple, or, or some to name a few. And we're taught to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Now, what we do early on in life, we buy, we accumulate. But the problem here is a lot of people fall into a place where they need to access that money. They, they have an emergency that comes up. They have a child going to college. They have to pay somebody back. And what happens is they end up selling. How many times have you bought um, you know, stocks in M1 Finance or Robinhood and you held on to them with the intention of holding on to it long term and something came up, unfortunately, and it happens all the time. Something in your life came up and you're like, man, I'm in a pinch right now. I have to sell this. How many times have you changed jobs, had a small couple thousand dollars in a 401k? Unfortunately, the average person changes jobs every three to five years. So it doesn't give your 401k enough time to build up. So how many times have you changed jobs, switched over and not rolled your 401k over into a into the new employer? You saw that couple thousand, you're like, ah, I'll take the penalty. I'll take the tax implications. And you went ahead and cashed out on that. I know I did that in the early years of my life uh, in my 20s. I did that several times. I didn't see the value or the I didn't have that long term vision of where my finances could be if I did leave it. We have the ability to accumulate. But then when life throws us that curveball, what do we do? We go ahead and sell. We do the same thing with real estate. We, you know, we have a house for a few years. Then we want to move to another location. Well, instead of keeping that house, renting it out, airbnb it, we end up selling it. And so that's where we kind of get ourselves into a pickle. And then later on in life, we don't have any assets to show for, and we end up passing away broke, just as we started in the very beginning. It's the craziest thing. And the problem is we don't know any different way because we don't have people in our lives telling us or teaching us, coaching us or mentoring us on how to do it the way that the wealthy do it, how to do it the right way. In the early years, same as the middle class America, the wealthy are taught to accumulate. It's the accumulation stage in their 20s and 30s and sometimes 40s. They're accumulating businesses. They're accumulating real estate. They're accumulating other assets in the, in, in the market or whether it's precious metals or even nowadays, the wealthy are starting to accumulate cryptocurrency as well. And so they're taught to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Now, the difference between the wealthy and the middle class mindset is when the wealthy come into a situation where they need extra money, whether it's to buy a new business or to finance some type of uh, you know ambitious goal that they have, here's the difference. They never sell their assets. They never sell their investments. If they do, it's very small, small part of it. Instead, here's the key. They borrow against their assets. You can refinance your home and you can pull money out and use that to live off of. You can do the same thing for your 401k policy. You can take a loan out against your assets and you can go ahead and use that for different things. Now, here's the coolest part. The wealthy have been using life insurance to mitigate risk and using it for tax benefits and tax purposes for hundreds of years as well. Did you know that section 7702 of the IRS code says that you can put money into a life insurance policy and keep that money tax free for the rest of your life? As long as there's a minimal legal amount of life insurance attached to that policy, you can go ahead and, and stack that policy full of cash. The wealthy have been using life insurance to hedge against inflation, to hedge against market volatility, and to stick millions of dollars, literally millions of dollars into these life insurance policies to save for future generations. Now, the thing about life insurance policies is you can also 
access your cash accumulated value inside that policy through a secure loan. They don't check your credit. They don't, it's, this is your money that you're loaning against. Now they use your death benefits as collateral, right? So as long as you have enough cash value in there, you can pull out a loan, go ahead and use it to purchase more uh, income producing assets to live on, to, to generate more income. So you have two streams, three streams of income coming in right now. Your money is growing while it's in there. You're leveraging it by using a loan. But then when you pay yourself back, you pay yourself a small interest rate and it goes right back into your policy. Now, the wealthy don't seem to have an issue with this. It's the poor, broke mindset, middle-class America that has an issue with paying interest back to yourself. It's actually, an, it's actually a benefit if you look at it with the right perspective. When the wealthy are ready to transition into the next realm, the next world, pass away, they don't ever sell. What they do is they buy, they borrow. When they die, their assets get transferred over to their heir. I know this was a lot of information and I knew I threw it at you 100 miles an hour. Go back and watch this video a couple times. It's really simple when it's broken down. Middle class America buy, sells, and dies. The wealthy, the elite, the 1% buy, borrows, and dies. Never sell, always borrow, leverage those loans, use it tax-free, and you'll be set for life. I hope this video helped you guys. Please feel free to drop some comments down below. We can go ahead and get in a dialogue about this. I can answer some more questions. Check out my YouTube because I do a lot of short videos that go over a lot of this information. We're about to hit 400,000 followers on TikTok, so I'm super stoked. I'm super appreciative of my community. And uh, I appreciate all your time. God bless you. Live well, laugh a little louder, and learn to be a better you. Peace.